Greetings. Welcome to my channel. I have a thrift slash yard sale slash antique sale that I went to. I just filmed a video. Please go hop in and watch that. That will be in the description. But today, or now for this video, I am going to be filming, organizing this shelving unit for my taxidermy items. So here I have that just silver little ring bowl and I've placed my mummified toad here. And I'm gonna have to just leave it here and decorate later, I keep adding to it. I have this mason jar that does not have a top. And I think what I'm gonna do is just add a bunch of these feathers. Or I guess getting my favorite ones. feather. can't really tell with the lighting. So here we have the mason jar and I'm just going to go through these feathers. I was just going to grab a few that I liked but I think I like the ide idea better of grabbing my favorites and putting them in here. The different colored ones. This one's tan, gray, and white. a part of me really wanted to go back to uh, that area and get more uh, items for my shelving but then a part of me is just like this guy probably wants money he most definitely wants money like that's the reason he's doing it is to get money I can't keep going over there and asking for more free stuff it's very rude so, I am just staying home and being thankful for the items I did get, and I'm trying not to be selfish and uh, ungrateful, but I'm just very blessed to have that opportunity, and I was like, I had an urge to go back just a minute ago, but it's already like so close to the night time and he needs to pack up and go home and move out of that area, you know? He said he's gonna go to jail. So probably shouldn't take more of his time. of these birds I believe are still alive <laughs> so no bad I don't think even feathers are bad juju I think literally having anything from an animal or with a beating heart that's still around it is a blessing my honest opinion because 
feathers are beautiful. And I think I'm gonna start shaping it like a vase now. So just decorating it and making it like a pretty a pretty bouquet, you know? You know the vibe. Like, what do other people do with their time, you know? <laughs> Arts and crafts, I tell ya. Alrighty. 
Okay, so this is what it looks like. So this is what it looks like now, beautiful. And we have some of our favorites here. We'll get some of these to push down to the very bottom if we can. Just trying to cover up any of the clear spots showing or the quilts. Alrighty, so now we're just going to decorate with these quills on the outside, making it look grand, you know. ultimate concentration.
So here is my final <laughs> look. I don't know what you would call it or how you would think of it, but it is time. <laughs> I don't know, we'll see how I like it. <laughs> At least they're being displayed and not just in here. That's the whole goal of this whole thing, you know? So, we've now put our matches up here. I kind of want to get like something for it to be on. I need more like storage items to like stack stuff on top of but if anything I can try to find and see if I have like some books in my bedroom I can put under this and then here at the very bottom I have the two items that I got plus my oculus under here and then this is gonna be our next project but here in the chocolate box I have Henry's leg, some remnants of rabbits, and then uh, some of the deer hide that I pulled off of it to not make it look so um, not clean, you know? So I'm gonna have them stacked up because it just looks weird with just one thing. It looks like stuff's missing. But now we are gonna get into our insects so I'm gonna set you up so you can see my collection and we'll go through there and try to store them as nicely as we can in this box it has this nice little shelving unit that slides back and forth alrighty so I know the view is not the best and most spectacular but it is what it is We are not professionals here. So here's some of my stuff and collections of things. So here are my butterfly wings. They may be monarchs. I don't have specifics on them. Gotta blow them out. Clean them up a little bit. And we will get those. And one of, I guess they're not broke. Well, some of them are broken and torn in pieces, but it is what it is. wing just crumbled. Jeez. Oof. That was sad to watch. Okay, well the rest I guess is gone. <laughs> Can't really salvage that. Now, the next thing I have are my geckos. That just get dried up in the uh, sun. This one has disassembled. I don't 
have them look cool and displayed. All right. So I love, 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 love finding dragonflies, but it's very hard to not have them disintegrate. So here is one of my dragonflies. about it is it's like abdomen is blue and as you can see its eyes have already kind of started to crumble in and break <sighs> Jesus <laughs> oh my god <sighs> I don't know what was on my hand. Maybe it was just a piece of bug. I don't know. <laughs> That's the part that sucks is when you find pieces of bugs that you were uh, a lot, you weren't aware of, you know? Now it's just somewhere on my floor. So who knows? Here is one of their tails. Here is the dragonfly's tail. Just picking up all the little pieces of its wings. And the rest is just dust and legs of things. And then now, here we have a beautiful, beautiful dragonfly who's in top condition. As you can see, its eyes are still good to go, looking beautiful. Legs seem to be all there. Even its little tail has like a little fork that goes off. Gotta pick up my dust and stuff, grass that's on it. And then one of my favorite bugs ever, cicadas. So now we will move our frogs out of the way. And we will go into this collection. And then I'll take this to my office and bring home some of the bugs that I like. Uh, it's still so scary picking up some of these things. Here is another beautiful dragonfly. Very, very, very pretty. We have another one of our friendly cicadas. Love them. 
This one has uh, greener wings. And the next time cicadas are in season, I need to collect more of them that I find on the ground and salvage their wings because I should start making some jewelry out of their wings. The summer are just beautiful greens, browns, just beautiful colors. Oh, this dragonfly got beheaded. Poor thing. But other than that, in mint condition. We have the moss. Hmm, I don't want to hurt it. Here we have cicada wings, and this is what I think I may want to do. I either want to salvage them like this, where they're connected, and do something with that, but it's just so easy to break. I don't know what I want to do. I want to try to find a way to make some jewelry out of this beautiful mess. Beautiful! Ah! And actually, that is not a cicada wing. I apologize. It's another type of bug wing. Now here's the one I get scared to touch. Oof. I know it's dead. It's been dead a long, long time. But its stinger is mad wild. It looks like a scary motherfucker. <laughs> It looks even scarier down, looking down at it. And then here is another butterfly wing with yellow dots. Here's another wing with an eye on both sides. More of the wings. It may have been a dragonfly now that I'm thinking out loud. The wings. Uh, here's his head. <laughs> here's another beautiful moth. Just a normal moth. But beautiful nonetheless. Ugh. These I hate holding. A dead wasp of sorts. A stinger, motherfucker. Oh, see, this is what I mean by cicadas are the, so beautiful. Look at how green this one is. So pretty, and its wings are pretty too. Just very green and beautiful. So the last things I'll show you, Oop, where'd it go? No, I just lost his head. Off with his head. It's right here. But we will move his head back to his body so he's reunited. And the last things that we'll be showing today for my bug collection are these little, ah! <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> ah, okay. Abandoned ship, abandoned ship. These are these little baby wasps. They were in a nest and I took them out. 
keep them. Gotta love it. Alrighty. Traumatizing. to move all of the babes together okay now I really need to find the babes where is that <laughs> um can y'all tell me where it went help me out like Dora tell me where it went um hmm <laughs> That is finishing my bug collection and I will put the actually I think if anything I'll move my dragonflies down here so their wings don't get hit by the shelf that I put And then I still have room for my other things and we'll put our shelf on top and here is my collection of bugs now I can just have it in one nice little compartment and not in a bunch of sandwich bags love it so now we'll just pan up <laughs> and we will move this here with the oculus not to be sideways so there we have that I think if anything I'll move this to my closet but it will stay there for the time being until I find other things to replace that area the next thing I have a bunch of these wings that I have clipped in my taxidermy videos and wings that I've found as well that I feel like I want to scatter around the uh, house but I kind of want to keep everything together and I don't know if I want to do shadow boxes for them as well just so I can like remember what's what but I can always film a video and go back to it too but I really think I want to put these around the house. They look really cool. They look like angel wings. Alrighty, so let's see how many bags I was able to clear with that. We have this, which I'm gonna be taking back to the office to collect more bugs. We have one huge bag, one sandwich bag. We have our amazing coolest rabbit preserving video one sandwich bag another snack bag and all of our feathers 
that are gonna be used for like quick use for my hair and braids and whatnot are in here. So, did a good job there. Just need a good other little hideaways for that. Alrighty, so now let's see what else I could put over here. I did some moving around here I think I don't know if that's like a good spot for it I'm not sure just yet um, given a bunch of stuff but I don't know where any of it went I feel like but I feel like all I really got were vases and jars and stuff but I feel like I don't have anything now <laughs> I'm gonna have to be back with some stuff to try out hello this is gonna be a jump uh, back in time uh, I went back there and got quite a bit more stuff. You're gonna see that in the previous video. Please go check it out when you have the time. It's gonna be my haul, some videos and filming up there at the location and some here and doing the haul. So please go enjoy that. But I just wanna say I am so glad and happy for everything I got, I'm honestly just so, so happy. <laughs> I'm so happy. Um, and it's kind of weird too because I always question myself at why do materials mean so much to me? And I honestly feel like Ariel, the Little Mermaid, as she like collects things. And I like trash. <laughs> I guess I don't have any other way to explain it. I like trash. I like things that people usually wouldn't get. I like... That's... Oh. I need to go back and show them one last thing that I got from there. But um, I just like a lot of things that are not of normal taste. And I'm just so grateful for that, that it's not like anything before. And a part of me wants to like ask people for their input and help and like how they would do something and organize. But then I realize I have such a different aesthetic <laughs> than anyone I know, and I'm just thankful for it. I'm just thankful that I'm me. I'm just really thankful and grateful right now, and I'm on a high of my life, and you have to realize when you're at your highs because it just feels so good you gotta cherish them and for some reason all of this stuff and just trying to get my stuff together it makes me feel so good <sighs> okay i'm gonna try to get started on this organizing see if i can get anything else done and put up Just wanted to pop in and say my gratefuls and my gratitudes because I think a lot of my recent videos have been just very truthful and sad and a lot of them I did not post because it was very personal to me 
and my celibacy broke and I didn't realize how much I allowed that to uh, protect myself, how much I used it as a crutch, how much I relied on that for my self-worth and my morals and everything. So it was just really hard to pick up the pieces and then when you mix other things into that of where you're not of a good mind, um, it gets really hard. But I'm just really thankful that even after all of the stuff that's just like brought me so down in my life, for some reason I'm still here. And like, if I die, I want people to come into my house and be like, I honestly wouldn't want to change it and like pull stuff down. Like I wouldn't, I want my house to be a house that people want everything in, find stuff and just are like, this is treasure, this is an oddity, this is amazing. I'm just, I'm ready to get everything going. And I don't know if it's fall, but like, I really feel fall in my bones. Like honestly, fall is here, babes, and it feels so good. So I'm excited. Let's get cleaning. I just really like this setup now. Ugh, the setup is so nice. Ugh, I love the view too. Like this whole look. I know it may not be some people's cup of tea, but it's literally mine. I love it all. Mm. Okay. And I guess we'll start here because I started looking at this and I think I found what I wanted for here at least. Um, How that looks. You're gonna see what I've been hiding. Alrighty, so now we're gonna go ahead and turn our way over to our shelving. So with this, it's just a lot of trial and error, moving stuff around, seeing if you like it. Um, I had this anthill in my room at first, but I think the Place it's on I can you really use that as storage so I'm not gonna moving it over here now I think if anything it should be out for people to see and then here I think the main collar should go like this I'm thinking thinking out loud here. Okay. And now let's see what could go on these other places. So here I have this. I really freaking love that. I always uh, gift my grandfather when I worked at their store. I would find a whole bunch of 
nice, really cool vintage cameras, and that reminds me of him. He loves cameras, so kind of want to gift that to him, but also kind of want to ask for the other two back, you know? <laughs> Maybe, I, I'm like my papa though. We give gifts that we want, you know? <laughs> So let's see. So this one looks like it should stand up, you know. also have to realize too that I don't have something for that at the moment and that I just need to go buy it. This may actually need a cleaning. It's pretty gross. If I want to put anything in there. That looks cute. They may be that. I kind of want to use stuff for storing specific things though, so I just have to find stuff I want to store. Um, can store my my feathers that I will be able to use. And maybe I could I want that stone to somehow be visible. Sir. this empty for something in the future. I think if anything this will be easy to grab and if I just feathers won't tip it over if it's standing vertically, you know. Got some dust bunnies in here. Pluck those out. But I don't think I said while I was leaving the uh, area. 
and packing that last box I showed uh, of all of the tea lights and candle glasses and shot glasses kind of. Uh, I broke my pinky nail and it hurt so bad. Thankfully it didn't go under that but I'm pretty sure that was my real nail that broke. I'm not sure because a lot of these are my real nail. Well I guess half of them are my real nails. It's really hard to keep them when they're that long. But I've now stored all my miscellaneous feathers in here, the ones I want quick access to. Maybe I should put them all a certain way. Quill down. Quill pointing downwards. And see, this is what I tried to do at first to get these feathers in my hair, is super gluing a bobby pin to it and trying to get it to stay in my hair that way. But the super glue kept falling off of the feather. So, we'll see. This is still something I want to try and figure out how I can make uh, feathers into art and jewelry. And I believe I tried to show this, but it didn't really show that well. This is one of my prized possessions. <gasps> I didn't realize I had two. Oh my gosh. These are from... Blue Jays. Oh my lordy. You can't really see, but that's blue. Oh, so pretty. I love Blue Jays. They remind me of my grandfather. I love it. I'm so happy I have two. Woo! I thought I only had one. Bless up. I'm gonna grab more of my feathers. One moment. here stacked properly. And then I can always find somewhere, something to put in here eventually. Or let's see. have that done and now I think if anything this one can be really minimal um now for this one this is the confusing bit I would also like to go look at all of my book collections really quick don't know how exactly I would have it showing, you know. I need book one and two. Book one and two right here for ya. So 
here we have all of the series uh, I really I need to go to my room and look at all the books I have under my bed because some of them are worthy of being put up and I'm going to be purchasing another shelf soon hopefully in the next week the same type to be up against the wall as well right next to it and I'll be able to decorate that as well hopefully having more books up I'll be back so I grabbed some books these were some of my favorites when I was younger scary stories 3 scary stories and more bones I just loved reading scary little short stories. They were my favorites, especially the depictions in these scary movie, or er, sorry, scary stories. Like they were the best. And I should honestly get one of these tattooed on me. There was one I really liked about uh, a girl getting spiders in her face. not it but these were just all my favorites oh I love them so much but I'm going to put them on display up at the top instead of for under my bed because they deserve to be out no one comes over to read but they will still be out Alrighty, and now for the books. Okay, so I think this is what sucks about this is it's not really if I have it over here in this corner. You don't really get to see it. I guess you still can, but thing I may just not have anything at the time to put there I may need to go buy some more things but um project can go in there that I have in the top green uh, candy tray maybe you call it maybe I can put that in there See, <laughs> I always regret not getting one thing, you know, and, but that's just me. I can never be truly happy with just everything I've got, I've noticed. <sighs> Drive myself crazy. Should have just grabbed everything so I couldn't complain. I didn't realize that this had a literal sharp ass nail here at the center and I stabbed my finger but I guess that's cigars I don't know but here I've started to try to organize my taxidermy collection of birds 
and I'm going to consolidate them into smaller baggies and placing them in here. So just collecting all of my stuff. So move them into these little ones. Alrighty. So we consolidated this into a smaller bag. This is a good enough size bag. here with I guess this old white or Cuban guy I don't know but um there we go uh, we are gonna have to try to find a spot to put that for now but uh yeah I think for right now we are really good with how it looks I think if anything, I may give my friend this because do I really need it? No. Um, but I am going to be getting another shelving unit, so I may need it. But I will know for certain in the next two weeks. Hopefully, fingers crossed. But so far, I like how this looks. And I'm excited to finish my next project so I can put it out here and have it on display. And I'm honestly wondering what I'm going to do with that shadow box of my, um... My coolest rabbit. But let's actually see and try to look at that now. See if we can even do that. shadow box may honestly be a bit too big because if I'm thinking out loud here like this is huge so if we have this here for the spine for the head. I think if anything I need to preserve a lot more animals to find the use of this. I'll keep it but I don't have enough to display at the moment. So with that being said I am going to display it out here then.
Which way looks creepier? That way? Or this way? Yes, that way. That way. And then I think that. So my rabbit head there, and then I think I'll do, oh, I knew I thought my, got some dirt, the spine broke, so it's not as long. But if anything, I can make jewelry out of this. Love that for me. I'll just put it in there because I have a. Uh, no. put it with these pieces of stuff I had over here. Rabbit and deer pieces. I don't have anything in there yet. good for right now. I'm pretty happy with it. I need a little uh, cube for this one right here, but I will show you so far what I have done. Just gotta add this one extra feather in there. show you all the final look and then I'm going to start getting some things out ready and open for my dad to get ready to paint up tomorrow and so I can know what all I need to do tomorrow. Let's show you the final view. So here we have the top with my scary books. Beautiful mummified toad. Here is a future project that will be in a video, and here are my frogs. I need to have this one and the bag sit outside so I can make sure he doesn't smell before I unbag him. And then here we have my ant hill from when I was wee, young with my cool rabbit spine and its foot. Here I have the beautiful camera. Nothing in here yet. My matches. An assortment of kinds. The Oculus and some of my taxidermy items. My gym workout. My books. And my amazingly preserved rabbit face so cool and then i will put my final project of my other one here that's tbd and that is the final look 
I'm so excited with how it turned out. <laughs> Looks nice. Definitely my style. And honestly wouldn't have it any other way. Really happy about it. Uh, if there is another update, I do hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Bye. So, I guess this is going to go with my organization video. I really don't know. Um, this one's a weird one. Uh, I have someone's ashes. I feel like I've talked about it here before. This person is not related to me. I've never met this person before. Um, they were left and abandoned at a storage unit. Um, I hope that's not the case. Maybe something really crazy happened, but all I know is now I have the person and they're not going anywhere. Um, I won't forget them. I'll keep them with me and never let them go. So I am going to transfer them over. I just had them in this little uh, picnic basket and I want to I wanted to find a urn for them but it's just really hard to find urns especially ones that I like and I want to make sure I can get that into like a nice setup for them you know so I found this craftsman uh, case and I want to just start putting him in here so he has like a safer place to be, you know? So, unfortunately, you'll see that he's currently in uh, sandwich bags. So, um, I did not put him like this. I found him like this. And... This is the part that sucks, is I found him in sandwich bags in like a Tupperware container for like a shoes. And I put him in this Walmart bag to just keep it together. But I am going to transfer bags of ashes over here. Let's see, before I do that, do I have any way to make extra space in here? Craftsman, you know. Remember it being five sandwich bags. We'll see how many it is. Uh, yep, it's five. That was right. So it's 
So who knew, like, people could just be brought down to five sandwich bags. him here in this corner and guarding my house Ugh. and this is an area I need to clean up I'm well aware but This is really now the end of my video, or at least all I'm going to be recording for tonight. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. If you have stuck around, I'm really proud of this video. Glad I was able to record my setup and everything and how my brain works and its weirdness. But thanks for watching. Bye, guys.